Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here just doing a really quick video. As you can tell by my hair, I obviously purchased and installed um, some faux curl firm formers. So these aren't the real curl formers or the brand curl former curl formers. Um, I actually had seen on uh, Instagram on my friend uh, on Instagram, she had purchased some faux curl firm. Cur blah, 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 blah some fake curl formers <laughs> um, off of Amazon and I think the brand name is Vakind and I picked up the same pack and you got a pack of 40 of them for about 16 bucks um, which I thought was a really good deal and um, I have a Prime account so the shipping was like free and fast so that's always good and even if you don't have a Prime account it's pretty good shipping and as you know, regular cur curl formers are like $60 or something crazy so this is the better option for me especially if I didn't know if I was going to like it and that sort of thing sorry so I didn't um, film putting them in because it was my first time and I didn't know you know how that was gonna go and all that and I didn't want to deal with like having to be in frame I just wanted to focus on putting them in but it was relatively easy I just wanted to kind of talk about um, what I did to my hair to prep for it and then just kind of talk through what it was like putting them in my hair so I washed and shampooed my hair as I normally do. I use Jane Carter shampoo and conditioner. I'll annotate right here the exact name of the shampoo and the conditioner. And then once I got out um, the shower on my hair, I um, I didn't towel dry it. I just kind of like, um, sorry, I didn't towel dry it. I just kind of like uh, patted it with a towel. And then I applied some of this 12 Benefits. And this is um, very similar to uh, It's a 10 that sort of thing. It's just uh, like a instant healthy hair treatment, if you will. And I'm out of like traditional um, leave-in conditioner spray, so I used uh, this stuff because it just has a lot of good stuff in it for you. So I kind of put that all over my hair as like a, ooh, sorry, a sort of leave-in. And then I also put um, some one and only argan oil all over my hair as well. Then after I did that, I sectioned my hair um, and I did three three sections on each side of my hair and then each of those sections I separated in two as I was working with them so overall kind of about it's three sections but divided by two just to make it easier and to get smaller chunks of hair um, I had semi rhyme or reason for how I did the um, curl formers the one that I got they come like this when you get them just kind of all wrapped up um, in bundles so there's orange ones and there's also pink ones and um, there wasn't really any kind of instruction on them or any direction to say that like you know ones go one way I think like the pink ones turn a certain way and maybe the orange ones turn another way I didn't really pay attention but I think that's what is going on there and some of the orange ones seemed bigger like they would make bigger curls and then some of the pink ones seemed slightly smaller and tighter so what I just ended up doing was um, doing mostly orange ones in the back and then in the front section of my hair doing um, mostly all the pink ones um, but there was some sections like uh, you know that I was supposed to do orange and I ended up doing pink and that sort of thing I just kind of didn't really give it rhyme or reason this time around. I, I was more nervous that I wasn't going to have enough of them, and I actually definitely did have enough. I used about 30... 37 of them? No, there's 40, so I used more than that, because I have, like, 17 left over. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I have 17 left over. Whatever. I have a bunch of leftovers, is what I was going to say. Um, I thought I was going to not have enough, but I ended up having a lot of uh, pink ones left over. And then I have a whole pack of uh, like five or so um, orange ones left over. Um, installing them. Oh, okay. So, and then I separated the hair, like I said. And then when I was working on each section, I separated each section into two um, sections. Sorry, I'm moving around so much. Um, and then I added more product to my hair. And what I added right before I installed a curl former to each section was the Garnier um, Pure Clean Smoothing Cream. And I really like this stuff. It's 98% naturally derived. Vique. Um, but I've been using it for a long time. And you can um, usually around this time of year find it really cheap at the drugstore. So I put this just as a smoothing cream to ensure that, you know, the sections are as smooth as possible. And then to sort of set the curl and help it stay... Um, I also used the Jane Carter Wrap and Roll um, 
uh, wrapping solution foam. So I would do that. I would coat the hair and then I would install it. You get a hook um, that comes with the curl former, Avi. And I just went ahead and installed it. And it was pretty easy um, to do, to be honest. I thought it was going to be much harder. It did take a long time. It took me about an hour, a little over an hour, to put um, all of them in my hair. But I thought it was going to be harder. And it wasn't that hard, actually. Um, most, it kind of went pretty quick. The second half went faster than the first half. Um, I, and I only got caught up a few times. But when I did mess up, it was really easy to just retrace my steps. Like, my hair didn't get crazy tangled. It wasn't that hard at all. I've heard, like, horse stories and I thought it was super de duper easy actually the only thing I don't like about it and I don't know if the real curl former hook is like this but if you can see the hook the way it's like a hook and then this little tiny hook and then this little tiny space is like where your hair is supposed to go and I just feel that like if this wasn't so like hooky <laughs> it would be so much easier because it doesn't even really need to be it just needs to be more of a flatter thing there because this part is what really would like get kind of stuck in your hair stuck in other sections and that was really like the few hiccups I had came from that part um, but feeding the hook through the hair was super easy um, and yeah I was actually really surprised and then this wasn't really hard at all I know a lot of people broke theirs because they said that it wasn't I don't know that it was hard for them but I didn't feel like any of those challenges so yeah it's like almost 10 o'clock now um, I'm I'm just going to keep these in until tomorrow as long as I can, and then I'll take them out. And, of course, I will come back and let you know the results. But overall, um, installing them in my hair was, like, really easy. I had no problems um, with it. I mean, no problems is an exaggeration. There was a couple sections that it was a little tough, but I found it really easy, and I think that... At this phase, I would say a success. So it obviously won't be a full success until I see the results tomorrow, but it really wasn't that bad. I hey guys, pardon my crazy face. This is my morning face, but this is my hair after the curl formers. Maybe this light is not the right one. Let's walk over here. Okay, so this is my hair um, taken out of the curl formers. I haven't really done anything to it except that I took it out the curl formers and I kind of flipped it over and just kind of did like this to my scalp only because it was feeling a little tender having those things in there the whole time. But this is kind of what we're looking at without styling it, just kind of straight out the curl former. And I think that um, the curls were really nice. I could tell the ones that I did like smaller pieces produce like a much nicer curl, such as that one. And then like, you know, ones that were like a little more careless, I could kind of tell like this one. Um, but yeah, the curls came out nice. I think I'm just at that phase where, and I've noticed this with a lot of, um, curl former videos I watch where people are like really excited to do it. And then you wake up with this and then it's like, okay. And now what do I do with it? So I'm going to try to separate it later on. Um, I have some things to do and I was actually going to try to wear them up until, I was ready to leave, but um, my head was just so sick of having them in. I will say sleeping was rough. They say that, and they weren't kidding. Sleeping with them was not fun. I did, like, I pushed them all to one side, and actually the back of my hair doesn't look as good as the front, but, um, because I tried to make, like, a really flat space so that I could easily, like, rest my head with the curl firmers on the side. And that was really the only way that I could sleep. But even that was, like, I wasn't a fan of it. Um, it just still hurt. So then I ended up, like, trying to actually sleep sitting up with, like, a back pillow. That didn't work. So I really just had to, like, kind of push them all and then rest on my, like, kind of more like this, like, my entire arm. Um, and then my arms are like falling asleep the whole night. So it's very restless sleeping. I don't un even know how natural does it because she puts like 70 in her hair. I don't know how she does it. She's a trooper because for me, it was really, really hard to sleep in. Um, but yeah, so later on, I'll come on and show you how I ended up styling it. Um, and any last minute thoughts I have, but I just wanted to show you them fresh out because I know that looks a little bit different than once you start separating them and stuff. Which, to be honest, I'm kind of scared of that part because I feel like people's curl formers always look really good. And then when they start having to, like, separate them, it starts getting a little janky. So, we shall see. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 
Hey guys, it's me again. So here we are, curl formers fluffed out and styled for the day. It's actually the end of the day now, so they're probably a little jankier than they were before. But you can kind of see, um, let me get it more to the light. You can kind of see where we ended up um, from where we started with the curl formers. So I definitely, like I said, I did notice that they got like a little jankier as I fluffed them out. You can really tell up front here. You can see how that's not really curled anymore. Um, and that's kind of like where all your careless steps show is when you start really getting into it and fluffing it out. I think on this section of my hair too was a little, a little more rough. The back of my hair is like not the cutest, but I think it was still cute enough to go out. It looked really nice. I did encounter some frizz um, on the top as you can tell, and a little bit in the curls throughout the day. Like I said, this is the end of the day, so it wasn't this bad earlier. Ignore my nails. I was testing polishes for my next manicure. But yeah, overall, I really um, liked it. I think I like my natural curl pattern better. I'm just at that um, part of like the natural hair journey where you kind of like your curl pattern first. And I know when I first... Um, started going natural like I was really obsessed with like two strand twists and I used to love the definition and the results they gave but over time I just liked the way my curl pattern looked because it was just bigger fluffier I don't know I just ended up liking it better but I can see how this is a, a touch more manageable during the day um, I just don't have no idea how I'm gonna sleep on this because I've seen a lot of girls do um, the pineapple and then it bites them in the ass the next day so and to some people it helps so I really don't know what we're gonna do with that but I kinda like it I think it's fun um, and it's definitely like a complete different look than you know like my natural hair or to me it does my other thing too is I feel like I look young with it I'm 31 years old but I feel like I look like much younger with my hair like this so I don't know let me know if you think I look younger or older um, and if you didn't see it on Instagram I will post um, I'll post all the pictures below, but I basically took a picture at every stage of the way. So yeah, this was the final result, and I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll do like a day two kind of thing, but in summation, just to sum up my first try with the curl formers, uh, the fake ones that is, I think that they do a really good job. Um, I think they're definitely worth the money. I know that spending $60 on the real ones is just not realistic for me because I won't do this all the time, but to spend 15 for 40 of them um, and be able to do it, you know, when I want, I think was a price I was comfortable with and I'm happy that I did it. I like that I did it. I'll definitely do it again if I'm, like, um, craving a certain look. I also was thinking that this would be a good way to um, prepare my hair for going straight. I go straight about once or twice a year only, but sometimes I go in there with my natural curl pattern and it's just really hard for them to like comb through, brush through. And since this is like mildly straight um, now, I think it would just be easier for them to get through this and go to completely straight from this. So, which is something I'm debating doing. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, here's the look. I liked it. I think I gave myself a like B minus, maybe a C plus plus. Uh, for my first attempt. Uh, next time I'll try different things to just see, like, you know, see how it goes, um, see what I get the best results from, and that sort of thing. But let me know down below if you've tried curl formers. Um, if you liked this look on me, do you prefer my natural hair? I can handle it. <laughs> Whichever one you say. Um, be sure to check on Instagram below. You can get a better look at this um, freshly styled, as well as, like, the curl formers when I first took them out, as well as my curl formers right after I put them in. So, that is where you should check. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Let me know again down below if you have any other questions because I know I'm a little cray cray with this video. So yeah, have a good one and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.